Hello and welcome to another American Crafts Project using the Aqua Brushes from the new Kelly Creates line and they are available in the hand lettering section of Michaels and available online as well. This is a Vicki Booten water brush and this technique is really easy. You just need a couple supplies. You need the Aqua Brushes and a water brush and you'll see I'm laying down a parenthesis shape and then I'm softening the edge and adding water to blend it out and to make a lighter version of the, of the color that I laid down. And this first 2.5 minutes of video is in real time so that you guys can see how long it takes to do the flower in real time. I find that it really helps me if I watch watercolor tutorials and they're in real time so I can tell how fast or slow to add the water. So I'm going to do three flowers and I'm just continuing the largest focal point flower. And I like when the aqua brush does that and skips a little bit because it will give a variation in the color. And this is all real time. So you can see I'm just adding on opposing sides of the flower. I'm just going around and this kind of resembles how you create a frosting flower. So right now it's looking like my mom and grandma's Wilton Cake class flowers they made with the frosting. So we're just going to add, and you can see I like the variation that you get when you add the water to the edge. You get that crisp interior line and then you get a lighter tone of the outside edge. And that's what I'm doing. I'm squeezing the brush a little bit so that I can add some water and feather that out there. See how that softens the edge? There you go. Then we're just going to keep doing this until the flower is as large as we want. And then to add the outside petals, I'll simply touch the water brush to the aqua brush color. Now we're going to do a second flower. And here you'll get to see how I do the center. So I create almost a backwards three. And then I soften that with the water. And it really depends on the watercolor paper you're using. This is a really good quality. This is the Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper that's bright white, and I really like that. So here you'll see how I'm doing the leaves. And then this, this is sped up because leaves are pretty easy. So I'm wiping off the pink that was on that water brush and just adding, I'm a little bit off camera, but you draw one line of the leaf and then add water to create the other half. And this is just an easy tutorial, so simple shapes that you guys can recreate. And see, I soften that edge and add water to the right side to create the other part of the leaves so that there's some dark and some light areas. I find with watercolor it's less is more, so... Oops, I got it on the... <laughs> I'm going to have to be careful not to get that on my project. I better wipe it. Now I have a, a handy paper towel in my other hand that's off camera so that I can quickly wipe the brush or wipe up anything like this. Eventually I'm going to, there we go, I'm going to wipe that up. <laughs> so there's a couple things to prep when you want to get ready to do your watercolor. You need a good quality watercolor paper. You need a paper towel handy and your two brushes and you can just go to town and try. I know you. what I usually want to do is save my good quality water paper and not use it, watercolor paper, and not use it, but it really does make a difference. Like you can't do this on copy paper because it just won't react the proper way. So yeah, I had to just bite the bullet and use the real watercolor paper <laughs> that I wanted to go saving on, but it's, it's good to get your technique down on the proper kind of paper. Even though it costs more, it just helps you learn how to, the watercolor will react on the proper watercolor paper. So here you'll see I'm going back and adding, and at the very end I'm going to, I don't know if I catch it on camera because my camera kept dying, so I'm going to add the very, very soft, light outward strokes with the pink, and that, that'll go last. So let's see if I actually do that here on camera. It should be coming up in a couple seconds. Or have already done it, I can't tell. Here I'm trying to decide. 
and what I want to do is just get a very light outer petal. No, that wasn't on camera, but here I'm showing you the lighter outer petals. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the fire color from the Kelly Creates Aqua Brushes. I'm showing you the color fire. And since red is larger molecules, it will behave differently than the pink did. So you want to try several different colors in the whatever medium you're using because they will behave differently. So this one is a little bit harder to blend out and you get less variation, but I still like the way it turned out. So here, the, this whole entire section of the red florals or the fire colored florals is sped up, but I just wanted to also include this so you could see how the, you'll get a different look from the different colors. And I want to try this in the teal and the yellow next and see if I can get enough variation. It almost goes towards pink. As you blend it out, it becomes a light coral, which is really pretty. Ooh, and next, oh, okay, I have an idea what I want to do next now. <laughs> okay, too many ideas and not enough time. Okay, so I'll stop yakking and you guys can just watch with uh, some music. Thanks for joining me, and it, don't forget, at the end I have some stills and close-ups so you can see what I made with these two watercolor panels. lighter, the lightest uh, edges of the flowers are created by just touching the aqua brush, like I said earlier, just touching it to the colored brush. So you can really see a big variation. This is a little bit better lighting, so you can see how the outer petals are much lighter and the interior petals have a stronger color. And that's just to create some depth and make them look, a, even though we're doing easy watercolors, I still wanted to have a variation in the line and the strength of the color. 
So here you'll see, even though I'm doing three flowers again, it'll turn out different than the first one I tried with the pink blossom color. Uh, because these are handmade, of course, they're not going to be exactly the same. And there you go. See how I touch the water brush just to the edge of the colored brush? And that creates a lighter right there. So that creates the lightest outer petal because we're not going direct to paper. So, and I really like that it gives a really light touch to the outer petals. And I believe I did it more on the red sample. Um, and that way you're getting to see how, how I'm creating the outer petals now. And this one I'll do the leaves last because I really wanted to focus on showing you. So I turned it upside down just so that I could follow along. And there you see I created kind of an E shape. So all of the centers are different. You just kind of go with what you think it would look like from that angle. So this one looks more like an E. And then I'm doing the next defined and then blending out the edges and softening with the water. I saw this, this isn't my original idea, I saw someone on Facebook and they didn't have any uh, words, it was just like a music and a, and a sped up video, but I thought, oh, I'm going to try that with my brush pens. They were, they were sampling some flowers with their brush pens, which weren't the American Crafts Kelly Creates brand, so I wanted to see that how it worked with the supplies that I had and, and the watercolor paper, and I really like how it turned out, and it was pretty easy, so I'm hoping you guys can try this and I'd love it if you would tag me if you make any of the creations with the Kelly Creates pins or the other American Crafts pins. If you tag me in any of your photos on Instagram or Facebook, I'm at Artfully or Artfully Creative online. And there you see I'm creating the outside soft petals again by touching the water brush to the colored brush. Just repeating the three the three flowers again so that you can see exactly how this ends up. So I have two samples and I'm going to create something with these panels once they dry. They did not warp. Um, I'm not adding a lot of water so there was no warping at all so that was good. And here I'm trying to, trying to decide am I going to add a little bit more or are they good enough? But sometimes I need to learn when to leave well enough alone. <laughs> I just keep going and going here. But I do like the little outer petals. It just adds a little bit more realistic dimension there. So here I'm thinking still. A lot of it is just pausing and I'm cleaning the water brush and then I'm going to go to the green.
So thank you so much for joining me on this easy watercolor flowers tutorial using the Kelly Creates Aqua Brushes and the Vicki Booten water brush from her Minx Media line. And I'm uh, excited to share some more art. If you guys want to see some more art samples, uh, I usually am sharing like scrapbook pages and TN pages and I haven't shared any you know from scratch art work that I've done with the supplies but I've gotten so many new supplies of American crafts I thought I would start doing that and let me know what what else you would like me to watercolor for you guys to see and here's the finished sample I created a card and here's a couple shots thanks so much for joining me bye